Hi guys, Faelene Amir here. Today I am in the kitchen with my stepson Kane, and we're going to show you how to make a fantastic, super easy and healthy raw chocolate sauce. You can use this to make chocolate covered bananas, which we're going to do a video for, and you can use this to make chocolate non-dairy milk, like raw almond milk that's chocolate flavored. And since this recipe is so easy that a kid can do it, I'm going to have Kane here take over for the cooking demonstration today and show you just how easy this is. I would also like to mention that this is an edited recipe that I got inspiration from this book. I plan on doing a review of this later. This is the Raw for Dessert book by Jennifer Cornbley. It says Easy Delights for Everyone. Her original recipe, if you guys have this book or you're wanting to look at it, is on page 26. It's the chocolate ganache recipe. She uses maple syrup and um, I changed the ingredient amounts and some of the ingredients that are in there to suit my needs, but this is a good book, so definitely check it out. Okay, so for starters, we have one cup of honey in a large bowl here, and to that we're going to add a large pinch of salt. This is optional, but it really brings out the flavors of the chocolate. Get an extra pinch there, buddy. There we go. And now we're going to add one cup of ground up cacao. You can do this yourself, but these days you can usually find it in stores. If you don't care about being all raw, you can get something like Hershey's or any kind of Dutch processed cocoa. This is ground up cacao nibs. And to this, we're going to add one third cup plus one tablespoon of raw coconut oil and to liquefy it a little bit we put the mason jar in a hot water bath to melt it so we're just going to pour all of that in there okay and now we're going to add about a quarter cup of water You can do this in a blender, however we have a little hand mixer here which is more kid friendly so that's what we're going to use. If you need to, use the tool like this to scrape down the sides to get all the chocolate powder off. Let's see you mix it in like that. So make sure you get in the sides there and keep processing. So after about a minute or two of processing and you've gotten all the lumps out, you want a consistency like this that falls in a consistent ribbon. No chunks. Now as this gets colder it will turn into solid chocolate. If you want this to continue to stay liquidy, you're going to want to add an extra quarter cup of water. It's just up to you. So I'm going to have my taste tester here try his chocolate sauce and tell me what he thinks. Whoa, don't give me that much, buddy. You don't need that much chocolate. <laughs> It's awesome, amazing. It's really awesome. I love it. Five stars. Five stars. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. So, how easy was that for you to make? It's about like four minutes. Four it's minutes. Easy. Is it easy that a kid could do it? I, I think someone younger could than me can make it like this. So, on our next episode, we're gonna continue off here. And we're going to make chocolate covered bananas, super healthy and super easy. And Toby here is going to do the next video. Until then, bye guys.